And now, as part of our ongoing series, The Siblings of Famous People, we introduce you to Steve. While you might not know him, you're almost certainly familiar with his younger brother, God. Was it ever awkward having such a successful brother? <laughs> uh, well, well, there was this one time I got uh, an A on an algebra test, you know, uh, and I was never really good at math. So, you know, I ran home to my parents, uh, they put it up on the refrigerator, uh, they were real proud, it was really cool. Uh, and, then, and then later that week, my, uh, my brother created the world and all of creation in six days, so kind of took away from my accomplishment. So yes. You don't look as old as I would have expected. <laughs> I mean, how'd you expect me to look, you know? Uh, I was born in the time before time, you know, in the, uh, the heaven beyond the heavens, uh, in the most distant of all the eternities, so, you know. And where do you live now? Uh, Rockville, Maryland. After graduating with a degree in English literature, Steve spent several years as an unemployed writer. Uh, they, they would always say, you know, we... Uh, we need references. And I would say, oh, I've got this great one, I've got this great one. And then they'd say, no family members. So I, I've had three books published, well, uh, self-published, uh, and not, none of them have been quite as successful as, as my younger brother's book. For the last two years, Steve has been teaching creative writing at a local community college. He is not one of the more popular professors. Nietzsche. That's generally considered the only intelligent thing Nietzsche's ever written. So class, what can we learn from that statement? You know, it, teaching at a community college is unbelievably difficult. You know, you wouldn't think so, but you know, sometimes I've, I've got to think that my brother has it easier. So what would you say is the most difficult part of your job? Hmm, you know, it's, it's just really frustrating working, you know, with these kids. Uh, and getting them to understand just, just the basic rules. There's just these, these basic rules to how it should be done. And I'm always like, if you follow these rules, things will be better. But they just, they just don't care, you know? They don't care if it's Y-O-U-R or Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. You know, they just, they just don't see it. <sighs> you know, my brother never has to deal with stuff like that. You're trying too hard to be edgy. Don't use so much profanity. Don't need it. Do you ever wonder if maybe you'd rather have your brother's job? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, sure, I think, oh, I would do this that way, or, or I would do this thing a little bit differently. You know, like, like the platypus. You know, I, I, I never really got the platypus. It never really made sense to me. But, uh, you know, it's his calling, uh, not mine. You know, I don't tell him how to rule the world. He doesn't tell me how to teach my kids creative writing. So we have that relationship. Hey, Steve, did you eat my peanut butter? Oh, uh, hey, I'm in the middle of a, th of a, th of a thing. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Gotta... So anyway, man, I don't mind you having some, but can you at least put the lid on when you're done with it? We talked about this. Yeah, sorry about, about that. I, I must have forgotten about it. Just call me courtesy, man. Uh, sorry about, about that. Uh, that, was, that was my roommate, uh, Alan. Yeah, Alan. Do you get to see your brother much anymore? No, we, we really don't have that close relationship anymore. Sometimes I feel like he's forgotten all about me, but I guess that's that's really more my fault because if I ever call him he answers so Sometimes I look out over the world all the wonders of creation and I think I could have done that Yeah Please join us next week when we continue our series with the profile of Anthony Diamond, brother of Dustin Screech Diamond.
Did you ever have any philosophical conversations with your brother? Like which would win, the unstoppable force or the immovable object? Chuck Norris. <laughs> oh man, my brother loves those jokes too. Those are good ones. I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta take this. It's my brother. Just give me a second. Yeah.